Aren't you not supposed to touch these? Hello. Today I'm starting Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. And I'm very excited because this book is really popular right now. I don't even really know what it's about besides there's dragons and people out of college. This book is like sold out in a lot of places. Pretty sure it's sold out on Amazon. I don't know what's going on, but I want to know. I'm a big fan of fantasy romance. It's like my favorite, favorite genre, favorite type of books to read. I wasn't going to get this book because I'm not the biggest fan of hardcovers. Like I just prefer paperbacks, but I picked it up and I saw this and I was like, whoa, wait a second. Absolutely, absolutely I'm getting this. I don't understand why this isn't a thing for like every book. Like why is this not the standard for hardcovers? That makes me want to read it 30 times more than anything else. I don't know about you, um. Oh, there's a map. <sighs> I just love fantasy so much. It's just, it does something for me. It does. I just went to Starbucks. I'm gonna take the thingy off. The thingy. Let's do a haul that I got at Starbucks. Caramel macchiato with oat milk. Decaf. I wasn't gonna get a coffee or any drink, but I was like sitting there and I was like thinking about how I really do want a drink. Like I just pulled up and it the order came out. I don't know. Delicious. Hear me out. This is one of my favorite things that I get here. If you want to try something different from Starbucks, that's really good. Plain bagel with avocado spread. Bacon egg bites. Take the bagel, put the spread on it, spread it around. And you want the bagel to be like open faced, right? Take one egg bite, put it on each bagel. Smush it down. Eat it. It's really good and I'm proud of myself for that one. I'm about to eat this real quick and then I'm gonna start reading. I'm really excited for it. I think I'm just gonna read today. Like I was gonna do other things. I had plans, but then I was like, you know, let me just read. This is what it looks like. I know it looks weird and kind of not that great, but like it's like an avocado toast like egg. It's really good. Mm. Hold up. Hold up. Fourth Wing is a non-stop, thrilling adventure fantasy set in the brutal and competitive world of a military college for dragon riders. It includes elements regarding war, battle, hand-to-hand -hand combat, perilous situations, blood, intense violence, brutal injuries, death, poison, graphic language, and sexual activities that are shown on the page. Readers who may be sensitive to these please take note and prepare to enter. Basquiat War College. I didn't know we were already going to start with the hard names. I didn't know this was spicy. Is it spicy? Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Is a little not as disrespecting the dead i just finished chapter one and i just honestly wasn't expecting this i'm already really enjoying it but i feel like this book is gonna hurt i feel like it's really gonna hurt bad just from the, the end of the first chapter <sighs> damn okay i'm gonna go home and then i'm gonna start reading chapter two because i don't want to stop reading i like that there's not a shit ton of like world building being thrown at you in the first five seconds it's like all happening naturally oh god is she gonna? I need to know. I just want to show you that this is what I decided would be the best option for a bookmark. The plastic wrap that my utensils came in. I'm on page 41. Because if you didn't know, I'm an extremely slow reader. But they just said the title of the book and didn't even, I didn't even think about it. It didn't register in my brain. And then they were like, fourth wing. And I was like, oh, that's what the book's called. Um, that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> tears in my eyes i was sitting here on tiktok as i do and of course i get a fucking tiktok about this book and it's like i'm not really spoilers but the butterflies <laughs> i'm sweating how did they know i was reading this how did they know Oh my gosh. Sorry, I need to collect myself. I think I'm gonna like this book. <laughs> so it's been like a day or two and I'm currently sitting in my chair again reading. I got a little bit of sunscreen on my book. It looks all smudgy now. I was reading at the beach today. I just made a little annotation in this book because why can this girl not remember a single person's name? Like literally every time there's a person, like a new person that's like in the, you know, college, she's like, What's that person's name? It starts with an A. It starts with a T. I know it. And I'm like, girl, no, you just don't know. You don't know their names. This is the fourth, I think the fourth time. And then we're on page 82. Shit, what's her name? There are too many women in the hall to know everyone. There's too many people. 
in the school, apparently, for you to know anyone. I feel like we're about to get the juiciness soon, which is what I'm really excited for. Something happened on page 83 that I'm freaking out about. How did he mean that, you know? I don't know if Garrett's gonna be like an actual main character or like a big, not a main character, but like a, you know, character in the book. But I've known him for two, for two seconds and I'm liking him. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is happening? He, his, ah, we just learned his power. Oh my gosh, I already love him. Page 103, end of chapter eight. I'm stunned, shocked, speechless. What did I expect? No, because I knew what the nickname was gonna be, but reading it for the first time. Yep. Yes. I just woke up from a two hour nap. I was very tired. But before I even took a little nap, I read a little bit. I don't know how I'm feeling about this book right now. Honestly, I think that I am a little bit bored. The things that I'm learning about, you know, like the dragons and powers and stuff is like really cool. But I just finished chapter 10, uh, page 131. And I just, I don't know. I feel like it is a tiny bit slow. Hello? Honestly, my main issue is like, I feel like there's a lot of repetition in this book. Like Dane, who keeps saying the same thing over and over again. Some of her thoughts are like the same thing over and over again. And I'm like, all right, let's move past this to something else. Like I, I get it because of what's happening, but I feel like these things have happened one too many times. I'm getting a little bit annoyed of it, I think. Like one chapter, what chapter was it? So I don't even remember what chapter. Chapter 9, the beginning of it, was like very good. And then the end of chapter 9, I'm back to the same old, same old. Also, like the passage of time in this book is weird to me. Like throws me off at moments. I'm like, wait, okay, this is what we're doing. There are a lot of things I like about it. I need more to love it. I'm not getting that feeling of like, I need to pick up this book. I need to find out what happens. Like, I want to know what happens, but I'm not, I don't really care that much to keep reading, which is not a good sign. I just don't like having to like push myself to read. Things are finally happening. I'm really excited about it. I'm getting less bored. I'm getting more of like the dragons, you know, which I'm loving. I'm liking it more. This is all within like two chapters because I'm on chapter 13 now. It happened very fast. I said this but I did kind of see a spoiler it's not anything like too crazy but it is about someone's dragon it was like fan art now I know now I know it's gonna happen so that's kind of sad but it is what it is you should just heard the screech that came out of my mouth I am freaking out what is going on I know what's going on but I'm freaking out what the fuck what the fuck ah this is my favorite thing to happen in this book so far and I'm so I'm on page 172. This is so good. I've, I've literally had not highlighted. This is not highlight. Um underline this whole interaction and I'm having a great time. This is so good. I underestimated this book. This might be my new favorite character. I just finished chapter 15. I was not expecting this. I don't know why I feel like I'm about to cry. Like I love this so much. The end of chapter 15. I am obsessed. Also, just want to show you, I did heavily annotate this, um, this chapter. I think I need to go to bed. I can't, I can't start another chapter right now. I need to go to bed. No matter how badly I want to start the next chapter, I know if I start it, I will finish the next chapter and I'll be reading for another hour. So I can't. I want to know what happens because everyone is going to be freaking out about this. And I need to know, but I need to wait. I have to wait until tomorrow. So I think I figured out what is making me want to close the book and stop reading. It's Dane. Every single time this man speaks, I want to throw something. He is so fucking annoying. Oh my God. Stop talking. Just go somewhere else. Cause I don't like you. Literally, he says, he doesn't have your best interests at heart. I wrote, no bitch, you don't. Cause you don't have her best interests at heart. You're just being a fucking whiny little bitch. <sighs> I'm on page 217. Almost halfway? Yeah, it's, it's good. I just need this man to get off the fucking page. Oh shit. This is what needed to happen. I'm using this ugly ass brown highlighter because it matches the cover, but it's kind of ugly. Top of page 218. Yes, I have been waiting for this for literally 200 pages. So I'm very happy about that. I love her. <laughs> oh shit. What the fuck? Oh no. 
This is crazy. I love this shit. I would absolutely fucking flop in this situation. Truly. I wouldn't I wouldn't do well. There's not a chance that I would do well. Damn. <gasps> I'm about this close to Googling when do they fuck in fourth grade? <laughs> when do things get spicy? When do they stop denying their urges? <laughs> okay, I need to stop. I'm on page 271. A little bit over halfway. I've been just reading nonstop now. Like, I literally cannot put this book down. The dragons are really doing it for me. But also, like, these little these little crumbs we're getting are real good. And I think I'm about to find out some information, some good info. So I can't stop now. I literally went to bed last night smiling, thinking about this book. I think this is the most I've ever annotated a book. Possibly. Maybe. <laughs> Things are happening. You see that? I need to pause for a second. I'm actually about to lose my mind and I'm about to cry right now. Once I read it, it's done. I'm sweating. I I'm actually starting to sweat. It's getting kind of hot in here. Anyone else feeling that? I've been annotating every single page. Rebecca, Rebecca, I just want to talk. Because where did this come from? Okay. Focus. It's going to be okay. Relax. I literally just got home from work and all I could think about all day was this book. All I could think about last night is this book. I can't, this, it won't leave my mind. I left off last night at chapter 25. So I'm about to start chapter 25 and I'm very excited. I just hit my, oh my god, please go away. I just hit my heel so hard on the table trying to get my camera. This scene is so good and I hurt myself. She just obliterated this man with one oh. line. It was so good. I love that. I love that. So it's morning. I woke up at 7 a.m. Actually like 6.40. Have not been able to stop reading since I opened my eyes. It's now 9.37. I have like maybe 10 pages left. Wait, yeah, about 10 pages left. I don't, I... I can't process. Can't process anything that's happened. On page 486, I literally don't know what to do with myself right now. So much has happened. I am not doing well. I'm gonna do my review and then I'm gonna do a spoiler review after, like at the end end of this video. Like you can just skip it if you don't want spoilers. But I need to talk about some of this shit. I don't fucking understand. Why is this happening? Oh my gosh. What? Um, I just finished the book. In no way was I expecting that. Not a thought in my mind, not a single thought was that that was gonna happen. Oh my gosh. This shit was so fucking good. Wait, he knew. Oh my gosh. The book's over. It's over. It's done. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I've been sitting here. I showered. All I can think about is this book and these characters and the ending of this book. This is five stars for me. This shit so good. Although I had a few problems with it, but like, it's still so good. I rate my books based off how entertaining and how much fun I had reading it. It's not off of like, how well was this written? Like, I don't know. I just don't really care that much about that. Like, I'm just trying to have fun. I'm just trying to live it up in a book, you know? I thought about it. Honestly, the first, like, 100 pages of this book, I was scared. And I was like, this might be, like, three stars. But then everything else happened. And it's definitely five stars. I'll talk about like the good and the bad. First few chapters, I was like, yes, this is gonna be so good. I was so like, my interest was peaked. And then it got kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie. There was a lot of a certain someone on the page that I do not care for. And then we hit like mid hundreds, 130, 40, I think, and it picked up. And from there to the end of the book, it was great. And I had a great time. Violet and Zayden are, I love them. I loved literally all the characters in this book. I think if there was nothing else, these characters are what is gonna fully make me read the next book. Like I don't care about anything else. I care about these characters. They are everything to me. The dragons, fucking love them. There were some like things that happened that I'm like, why is this going on? What are we doing? That I kind of didn't like, which I'll talk about in my spoiler review. Everything that I liked 
just made up for it. Every other part was just so good that it like overshadowed parts that I was like not liking the best. Honestly, I did not predict like anything that happened in this book. I wasn't trying to predict anything. Like, there were a few things that were like a little obvious and there were a lot of things that were not obvious at all. I just didn't really think. I wasn't really thinking. I was too invested in reading the book. But overall, I love this book. I definitely recommend it if you like fantasy, if you like romance, and if you like enemies to lovers. You know, I love that shit. Literally my favorite. I'm never gonna stop thinking about this. And I think that is one of the main reasons I'm giving this shit five stars because I'm not gonna stop thinking about this. This shit was laced with something. I don't know, but I loved it. I'm a little bit nervous for the second book, to be honest. I hope it lives up. I hope it's even better. Okay, now, spoiler review. Let's talk about what the fuck just happened in this book. If you don't want to know, if you haven't read it yet, just skip this. Just stop the video now. First thing I want to talk about is Dane being an absolute fucking piece of shit. And I've hated him from almost the beginning. And the fact that Liam, that Liam passed away and Dane is still fucking alive actually physically hurts me. Not okay. The first scene where they kiss, the first time that they, you know, that shit truly was one of the best parts of the book. It was so good. Also, when you find out that she has lightning, she can wield lightning, and he's like, I thought so. And I'm like, what? And then he says that he thought she wielded it the first time they kissed. I went back and I like read that part, and I'm like, there really was lightning after they kissed the first time, and that was her. And she didn't even know. She didn't even know, but he knew. One part I didn't really like was after they do it for the first time, and and then like, he's like, don't fall for me. And then she's like, we're not having sex again until you admit your feelings for me. And he's like, no, that I did not like. Cause a lot of times after characters get together, it gets weird and I don't like it. Like I was like, damn, I'm not gonna like the rest of this book. It just gave off a little bit of desperate vibes. I just don't like the girl chasing the guy ever. I just not my preference it's just not for me she just kept pushing this is going somewhere we have a future and i'm like yeah y'all did it or whatever but like y'all barely even had a conversation about anything like that so the fact that she was like no you wouldn't need to admit that there's a future for us and we're gonna be together i was like girl relax they could have at least had their relationship go a little bit before that happened you know what i mean like i, I don't know i don't know i just wish it went different because that was a little weird for me i personally would not do that what she did i just can't picture myself doing that and admitting my feelings for someone when they don't even maybe that's just <laughs> you need to admit that you see a future with me and he's just like no bitch like i would have i would have offed myself in that moment i would have let him chase after you because we all know he's in love with you let him chase after you liam passed away so fucking sad and unnecessary also dane reading her memories absolute piece of shit and i knew he kept touching her face every time he saw her and i was like why are you letting him touch your face you know that he can why are you letting him touch you like that in the back of my head i'm like what has happened recently that he can see and i couldn't really think of anything and i'm like why are you just allowing him and i was like i feel like he knows that they friends dating are together because he touched her face and probably saw a memory that threw me one thing that, that, really that really pissed, pissed me, off, me off in the battle i know like they're in the midst of the battle they're going you know but before the battle started they all were like this weapon is the only thing that can kill these creatures and then the battle starts and she starts like trying to kill them regular ways and she's like yeah got one and she's like shit it's still alive bitch they told you that nothing would kill these creatures besides this one specific thing. So why are you acting like you didn't hear that? I really don't like in like books or movies or TV shows when a character is supposed to be like very smart, one of the smartest people, and then there's something that just doesn't make sense. Like something just not clicking up there. And it doesn't make sense to me because she's supposed to be so smart. And it took her like three tries of this. And she's like, oh, oh, they can only be killed like this. They told you that. I really liked that. Like when the threshing happened and she got her dragon, dragons, I thought it was gonna be like, you know, like she goes out there and she starts like whipping some ass and she's like destroying everyone. So she gets like the strongest dragon because she's like the most powerful out of everyone in the world. And that is not what happened. And I liked that because it felt more real. She still is this person whose like body is not, like, who's more like fragile, I guess. It, like her getting her dragons is not how I expected to ha it to happen at all. But I really liked it because it stayed true to her character and what was happening. The accommodations they make for her made me so happy because they aren't just like brushing past this and being like, oh, now 
now she's just super strong and she can just she's the most powerful one she can just hold on to her dragon and fucking do whatever the fuck no like they made the fucking saddle for her and she still has a fucking powerful ass signet i don't know i liked it i liked it then that last line of the book that was the last thing i was expecting to read i literally was reading the top of the last page and i covered the bottom because i like knew i was gonna look and good thing i did that because the fact that her fucking brother is alive what i can't believe he's like part of the fucking revolution not a single inkling in me said that that was happening and the fact that he saved her like ah oh, this shit was just so good also didn't expect that that city was still gonna be like a thing i didn't really think about it though i feel like the most predictable part of it was the creatures the venom and whatever the fuck else being like real because they really handed that one right to you also when jack fucking died i was waiting for that one now it's time for dane it's dane's turn i'm never gonna stop thinking about this book ah the tension between the characters how am i supposed to read another book i need to know what happened i need the next book i need to know what's going on her brother i need to go and know what's going on with the revolution i need to know what's going on with dane Ready for her to fight his ass? Feel that lightning on him, please. We are all asking for it. This shit was fun, and I will continue reading the series because this shit had me. That's it for today's video. Hope you loved it. Hope you were inspired to read Fourth Wing. Or if you already read it, let's talk about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.